I think the choice is pretty clear, I and mean, we know Donald Trump has shown his true colors. And we have to remind people that it's not just Trump. He is the face of the Republican Party. What he has enunciated, what he has said, they're the ones that stopped uh, DAPA from going into it, back the Republican governors, the Republicans on, this, on the appellate court and on the Supreme Court. So they are our enemies of the Latino community, and we must not forget that. There are Republicans, uh, George W. Bush, his brother Jeb, who have fought for immigration reform, and they have been basically defeated. Donald Trump represents that defeat. Is there a chance that if this candidacy, Donald Trump, is rejected, that we could have a two-party system, both parties looking out for the interests of communities of color like the Latino community? Well, I think that the Republican Party is going to have to remake itself uh, because they did purge themselves of, of all the moderates in the Republican Party. And uh, yeah, so they, they have a lot of work to do to uh, clean up their act, especially when it comes to the Latino community, when it comes to women, when it comes to working people, because they have also, we now have 26 states that have right to work that have been pushed for by the Republican Party, which is against working people. And you know, when we do not have unions, if we do not have a middle class. If we do not have a middle class, we do not have a democracy. Sometimes the Latino candidates that we elect, they don't really vote for the interests of our Latino community. They vote for the corporate interests of the people that give them the money. So we've got to start working on public campaign reform. And also for the Democratic Party, we've got to make sure that we get progressive Democrats elected because we know that we have a lot of what they call the blue doggers uh, that are really voting with, for the, with the corporate interests and not with the working people. A lot of the Bernie Sanders supporters here would probably um, agree with you and then ask, why didn't you support Bernie during the primary? Uh, it's really simple. I think Hillary Clinton is the one person that could uh, really implement the Sanders uh, agenda. I believe in Bernie Sanders' agenda, but I think that Hillary Clinton is the one that has the capacity to make it happen. A lot of Bernie Sanders supporters are really disappointed. Some of them are even saying that they're not going to vote or they'll vote third party. What would you say to them? I just want to say this is not a game. I mean, this is this is for real. You know, our power, we have to put our power where it's going to help people. We can't just be petulant, you know, and cynical and say, okay, I'm going to take my marbles and go home. Oh, no, you got to stay in the game. Okay, because this is real life here. There are real consequences. As we have already seen that. This uh, Donald Trump, uh, you know, what he would do would be make George Bush look <laughs> like a lightweight. Okay, so we've got to really be, you become active in this election to make sure that Donald Trump will never become the president of the United States because that is the most powerful position in the world. It will affect countries in Latin America, countries in Europe, countries in Asia, and Africa. So we cannot let this person who is unstable and many of his own people have said that, uh, become the president and, and win with his hateful rhetoric against Latinos and other people, disabled people, women, Muslims, etc. And the other thing too is that when they promote that kind of a hatred, then they inspire and they activate and they mobilize uh, people that think like them and will act out uh, on that hatred. And yeah, during the period of anti-immigrant electioneering in Arizona, a neighbor shot a neighbor fighting over SB 1070. Who happened to be a citizen of the United States and the person that killed him uh, said, oh, or an illegal alien and then, and then shot that person. Bueno, queremos decir que tenemos que nosotros participar en el voto porque sabemos que esta cosa no es un juego. Estamos hablando de la vida real y las consecuencias cuando la gente no vota. Y cuando nosotros nos quedamos en la casa, estamos dándole el gano a aquellos que nos odian y a aquellos que quieren hacer una pared y que, y que quieren deportar a muchas personas. Así es que está en nuestras manos, podemos ganar, pero tenemos que, que participar, si sí se puede.